Good afternoon, I'm Karen Larson. Mike Brooks is on assignment this afternoon, and here are some trending stories in green country. The Tulsa Public Schools Board of Education expected to vote tonight on closing four schools. With a $20 million budget deficit, the superintendent says closing Jones, Grimes, Wright, and Mark Twain elementaries will save the district two to three million dollars. Many parents are very upset by the plan. They're worried these schools are going to become overcrowded. The board will be voting on a plan that would increase elementary class sizes from 23 to 24. A new initiative looking to reshape voting districts in our state several months ahead of the 2020 presidential election is being challenged. A petition was filed last year in hopes of handing over redistricting duties from lawmakers to a citizens commission through a statewide vote. However, the petition is facing several legal challenges now, which is why the state Supreme Court will hear arguments later today on why the issue should or should not be put on the ballot. Your Palm may be your next credit card. Amazon is now developing a Palm scanner that can link back to your credit card information. That's according to a report in the Wall Street Journal. Amazon has reportedly begun working with Visa, testing the terminals, and has discussed the project with other companies. Snow overnight tonight changing over to rain. You can see temperatures staying above freezing for the most part of eastern Oklahoma, about 33, 34, 35 degrees. Then transition all rain as we head into Wednesday midday uh, with temperatures still above freezing through Wednesday afternoon. This is all a rain event. Looking at uh, snowfall accumulation potential, there is a possibility maybe a half inch to a dusting in Tulsa with uh, maybe an inch to the east of us in the Tahlequah area where the cold air is going to be a little slower to clear. 47 on a Thursday with rain early, 48 on Friday, uh, upper 40s to near 50 for the Saturday time frame. Cold uh, turning warmer on Sunday, 60s from Monday with another storm system for the middle of next week. But temperatures do look milder for next Tuesday into Wednesday. Keep track of our changing weather and the news on our app and website. And look for live coverage during our regular newscast at 5 and 6 tonight. 7.30 is when you'll see another update right here.